Hi, my name is Elizabeth. Welcome to the Center of Maths Problem of the Week. For this week, we're given a matrix A, and we want to use gauss jordan elimination to find all values of K for which matrix A is invertible. And a matrix is invertible if its inverse is defined, and we're going to use the fact that it's invertible if the determinant does not equal zero. So first, we're gonna, we need to find the determinant, so we're going to reduce matrix A into upper triangular form. In upper triangular form, we want all the entries below the main diagonal to be equal to zero. So we want this, these values to be equal to zero. So we're going to reduce the first, we're going to reduce the second row first. We kept the first row exactly the same, and then for the second row, we subtracted the first row from the second row, so we had 1 minus 1, 2 minus 1, and k minus 1 replaced the second row, and then we did the same thing to the third row. We subtracted the first row from the third row. 1 minus 1 is 0, 7 minus 1 is 6, and then we have k squared minus 1. So now we want to replace this 6 with a 0, so we're going we're gonna to subtract and we're going to do the third row minus six times the second row. So we did, we have this as our third row now, and we can reduce this. So now we have the matrix in upper triangular form, and we can find the determinant, and the determinant is equal to the sum of, to the product of the entries in the diagonal. Oh, wait, sorry. That's a one. So we have, and for the, the for the, Matrix to be invertible, the determinant cannot be equal to zero. So. And we can factor this. Matrix A is invertible for all values of K that are not five and not one. Thank you for watching. Um, be sure to check out our website for more math resources, centermath.org, and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you.